All right, everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. This is our little campsite. Um, I wanted to show you guys this because this is our Jayco 1006 pop-up camper we bought about two months ago for like 600 bucks, 500 bucks, or I don't know, not very much. Um, and it was in good shape. We got it from the original owner's children and we actually met the original owner when we were there. Um, it was cleaned up. You can see by the colors it's older, but uh, I think it's a 91. So the purpose of this is that we don't want to spend $2,500 on a rooftop tent to get out here and camp. And we used to have a little pop-up tent, like an easy up tent where you just pull the poles and they go out. And uh, so now we've upgraded to this. So wanted to show you guys my solar system here so that we don't have to camp in campgrounds. These are new power, all three of them are new power, and that's, I'm saying it that way on purpose, it's with an A, not an ER. Uh, new power, 100 watt panels, the two on the outside are newer. The one in the middle is an older one that I used to have on my truck camper. Um, I'll have a link for these in the description for you guys. They're really a great value. They're at like 65 bucks and we can run this thing. We don't run a lot of power. Let me say that. Like we're here to do this, not do this. We're not in here playing Xbox, running an air conditioner. We're out exploring. We're out walking. We're out hiking. We're out four wheeling. We're out cooking. We're out enjoying God's creation here, not sitting inside trying to run a mini split. So, with that said, these provide basically infinite power for us. Um, everything in the camper is 12 volts. So that's pretty easy. Uh, right now, it looks like we're pulling in 19 volts at 1.6 amps. Our battery's at 13.6 volts. Um, we really don't use any power. We converted these lights to LEDs. Uh, it's like a car style license plate bulb in there. Like a push and twist, like a 1006 or whatever. Um, I know it's dirty in here, we're camping. That's how it goes. In this compartment, I don't want you guys to get too hung up. Uh, that is an EP Ever. MPPT charge controller which means that it I don't know somehow tracks this it's more efficient than a cheaper one but you can get these for like 45 bucks this is off a bigger system so it's overkill for what I need here but it still works um, so I just used it because I have it these are kind of the darling star of the show it's two valence U1 12RT batteries and these are lithium iron phosphate batteries that uh, LIFEPO is how you'll see them L-I-F-E-P-O-4 which is a periodic table for lithium iron and phosphate um, and that's the chemistry that's going on inside them so it's a very safe chemistry lithium polymer is uh, more energy dense but it's a little more dangerous those are the ones that run in like RC's that go like 60 miles an hour or whatever um, these batteries are neat they come out of like medical carts and stuff but they have battery management systems in them so in here are four 3.7 volt cells um, and then that adds up to about 12 volts so in each little pack here you get 40 amp hours of power. And then I have them wired together, so I have 80 amp hours of power, which works out to be about one kilowatt. Now, you see the green lights blinking in sync on each pack? That <clears throat> is what I keep picking this up to show you guys. So there's built-in COM ports. They're like made to work together. Um, so by me just plugging these together, it does all the magic to make sure all those individual cells stay charged at the same level, which makes them last a lot longer. It also makes them last a lot longer per charge. 
So what you'd get is one cell would get out of sync with the others and when it reaches its peak of like 4.1 volts, that would cut off and say, okay, you're at 4.1 volts, but all the other cells in the pack wouldn't be there yet. So a battery management system says, hey, no, we're gonna leach some from this 4.1 and send it over to these ones that are at 3.095 or, or whatever and keep them in balance. Um, and that's how that goes. So, uh, that's wired to the standard billion year old inverter converter that's in here, which I'll probably upgrade later because it's not an inverter charger. Newer campers have the ability to charge the batteries while you're driving, and this one doesn't. Uh, then in this side is a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter, which will run all our 110 volt <clears throat> things that we want to run which isn't much <clears throat> excuse me um we want to charge our gmrs radios for out here for emergencies uh we have that's about it an air compressor uh the pump for the sinks 12 volts uh our diesel heater is 12 volts um even with using even with those panels out there being like all cattywampus and little Karen, you see they're partially shaded. And like I said, we can run forever with this setup. So if you had a little bigger camper, I'd just add another panel and then you'd be able to run. If you had like a fifth wheel, I bet four panels would run it forever. So anyway, I know you guys were interested in some of you. So... I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, let me know if you have any questions down below. Thanks for watching.